Hey guys, welcome back to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today is a very interesting day in the community because today is the day that the All-Stars of 2016 have hit the free agent marketplace. Now, before I get started this video, there is going to be some critiquing as well as some praising of Gameville. I'm trying to keep it neutral right down the middle in regards to coverage. You know, it's important to keep a level head in these games. So there do seem to be two trains of thought from other players. The first is that people have been spending time, a lot of time and money trying to craft their teams the way they want them to be competitive over the first two months of the year. Now that all of these 80 and above cards are coming out, it's making the old teams that have been enhanced uh, from you know the higher class player of the month cards obsolete and everyone would have to start back from scratch. Now the other foot, the shoe on the other foot, so to speak, is that you have to take everything with a grain of salt when playing a mobile game. It's to be expected that a company is going to bring out new content and it's going to be beneficial to pay to win, so to speak. So you have to spend in-game purchase or a ton of time to acquire those new resources that come out into the game. That being said, a lot of players are coming out onto the game right now in this current All-Star uh, class. So it's not just a few players like in a lot of other games, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at the players in the game and see what we're working with. Here we are with the All-Star players, and as you can see, they are going to be quite expensive, at least for the foreseeable future until no one buys them and they start going down. There are quite a few cool cards here. So there's an 85 Francisco Lindor, which is crazy. The most noteworthy one, again, is gonna be right at the top, Eric Hosmer. I'm not sure why he's the highest overall rated card, but you know, I'm not sure even what to say about that. But uh, Eric Hosmer, there you go, lefty, great stats. Really nothing to complain about at all when it comes to this card. Even his throw power as a first baseman is really, really awesome. Zach Britton is the new highest overall closer at 86. He doesn't have a sinker, which is kind of weird. I know they didn't uh, before the update as well. There was a roster update, but I think that there should be a sinker incorporator. I'm not sure if there's an issue with that. Regardless, the only other thing that I'm going to say that does not shed a good light on these all-star players is that closers and relief pitchers. I am very glad that there are new relief pitchers in this game. It's, I think, a great time to get some new relief pitchers in there. Season's best were the only ones. They weren't really readily available either. So, but the only thing that I can say against this is that I believe the stamina and the confidence are way too high. I mean, Zach Britton was a starter at one point, but he's not the only example. Jurius Familia, 82 and 90. These cards have more stamina and confidence than my starters with a 200 million gold piece roster. So these cards are absolutely crazy. And you know that might be a good thing here in the near future when everyone has enough gold pieces. Again, these prices should come down. There's no way to know for sure right now how the market's going to react to these new cards coming out. So there will be analysis in the future to go ahead and evaluate that. All in all, I feel like this is probably a good step in the right direction from the company. That being said, I'm not sure if releasing them all at one time is really great. The only thing that I worry about is player retention, but there seems to be a pretty tight-knit community of players who are going to play regardless. I'm just worried because there is such a small community play in this game. I can't say that there's a small group that it appeals to because people do love baseball all around the world, but as this not being a largely downloaded game, I'm afraid that loss of some of the community, you know, player retention is a concern that I, you know, think is important to address so hopefully you know everyone sticks with it and just roll with the punches that's what I'm gonna be doing here so you know maybe a team redraft who knows not gonna make any split-second decisions right now out of fear that is always a good way to mess up what you have going for you 
I kind of w- wish that I waited and didn't purchase that glory bundle now because I don't have the means to purchase these new packages every time that they come out. I do have bills to work on, so unfortunately I will not be purchasing an all-star bundle, which would have been really awesome since these cards are going for so, so much. Uh, anyone who purchases this at this time, you know, I'm trying to find an example. But I can't really find one that's available right now. There you go, John Lester, 69 million gold pieces. If someone buys that from that guy, he's gonna be set for a while, especially when those cards drop eventually. So besides that, I have one last thing, one last thing to go ahead and mention. That last thing that I'd like to mention is that it's just kind of a suggestion, and I know that probably Gameville uh, employees don't watch these videos, I'm assuming but I think that it would be really cool to implement a system for rewards, like maybe having a high achievable goal, like you'd have an MLB, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the show, or Madden Mobile, or Madden for the missions tab, achievements. If you just had like a 99 like or a 95 overall card, most mobile games would have something that you have to work on all year to get towards. I think Live Battle would be a great example. 20 straight wins. I mean, if you get 180 20 win streaks, you get a 70 overall or better player of the month, and that's not even the best thing that's out there anymore. So this game, I think, is way above its time, like way before its time in regards to gameplay. I think it's really great that they have player versus player in real time that is far ahead of its competitors, and I think that this game is really, really solid. So there's a lot of improvements that can be made on the game, but I think Gameville is off to a really awesome start. So this video seemed to be attacking Gameville. I apologize, that's not my intention. I do aim to cover everything from both sides, but there will be more gameplay, and I'm actually going to record the first actual gameplay of the season so far with my current roster. So keep an eye out for that this weekend. But for the time being, enjoy yourself. Hopefully you'll grab a few live, uh, hopefully you'll grab a few all-star players. And we are guaranteed in this week one for a login bonus. So hopefully you all guys get something really awesome. Maybe a Hosmer, a Britain, Xander Bogart, something awesome. So until the next one, I will see you.